All right, guys, I am on the Mazda Tribute uh, where I have to go and program the PCM. Um, I kind of forgot to pick up my phone and record this for you, but I'm going to do it right now. Uh, so what we are doing right now is just entering the PCM part number and we're going to enter in the terror tag. And um, in order to get to this area right here, what you got to do is if you go to my GT100 video, uh, I showed a process on how to get up to this part. It's basically just keeping your ignition key off and trying to communicate with the vehicle until it comes up to this area. And when you get to this screen, what you want to do is make sure that you are still into the, uh, your key is still in the off position or out of the ignition switch even. So we're going to take and finish putting into the data. And this was BRB. And next, we're going to put in the uh, tag, which is Y G. J1. So I got that. Sorry about the glare. So we're going to keep that there. I'm just going to come down, press on the tick that's down in the corner. Now it should go through. This is the vehicle quick with factory navigation? It is not equipped. So we're going to click on next. Uh, this is a four valve three liter that looks about right. And we are going to click on yes. Now, as I said before, this part, I always keep the key off and I'm going to leave the key off in, in the off position until I get to the next part. So uh, I'm going to pause you guys and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so at this area right here, what we're going to do is enter in our VIN. You could put in the last eight if you want. It's still going to ask you to re-enter the VIN after. But let's put in our VIN as we see onto the door. I should have marked it down, but I didn't. So give me one second. Uh, 4F2CY9. 4F2CY9. Try to keep you guys in frame for this. GG9BK. GG9BK. M05228. M05228. So now I'm just going to double check that one more time. All right, so I just validated that, that's good. Uh, odometer is good right there. So we're gonna keep that as is. Uh, next, we're gonna click on the tick again. And there is my VIN. Now we are gonna come up, we're gonna come into PCM programming. Uh, well, that little toolbox up here, we're gonna come into module programming. We're gonna go into module reprogramming. We're gonna go into the PCM. And during the module, this goes through a VIN verification process. This process compares the VIN in the module with the VIN. That's okay, we're keeping the key off right now. Now at this point, we're gonna enter in the VIN one more time. So, 4F2CY9, 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 GG9BK, GG9, BK M05228 M05228 So 4F2YC9 4F2YC9 F2YC9 GG9BK GG9BK We're good there and M05228 M05228. I know it's a lot of repeating guys, but you really want to make sure that you get your VIN pro the proper VIN into the, into the system. So now we're going to take and we're going to press on to our tick again. And this is a, basically just a module reprogramming. It's telling you what the VIN is, module part number, user ID, that's me, uh, the date and customer signature. So what you could do here is print. Uh, or print it out after I should say. Uh, printable view, select the printer and print. We'll go printer, uh, printable view. And we'll save it. If it ever comes up. And it's not even coming up. So select the printer and print, then we'll click that. Uh, we're gonna save this as a PDF. Print to PDF. We're gonna click OK. I'll print it out later on. Uh, we're just going to put this uh, tribute like this. And we'll press save. And now we're going to press the tick again. Now it's going to ask for 
that. Now there's a new software version available. So what we're gonna do right now at this point is take and turn the key on. Oh, I gotta put the key in the ignition. Give me a second, guys. This is gonna be a lot of on off uh, right now, so. All right, I got the key in the ignition. We're gonna take and turn on the ignition. We're gonna click on the yes button. Look at any necessary files uh, for the integrity. For integrity, please wait. So this is gonna be going through and uh, making sure, ensure the battery is in good condition and all loads are off. Let's make sure that all loads are off. Um, give me one second. Perfect, all my loads are off. Click on the tick again. I have a booster pack, I don't have a, a battery maintainer here, I forgot it, so uh, I got a booster pack. The module your belt program has multiple memory locations, we're okay with that. So the ignition switch to the off position. And press the tick. Switch the ignition switch to on. Press the tick. And now it's going to go through the module reprogramming procedure. Eraser procedure in progress first. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. I'll pause you guys and I'll bring you guys right back right before it's done. All right, we're almost there. Thought I'd bring you guys back now. Really sorry about the glare, guys. I'm working outside here. This could be a little bit boring there, but thought I'd bring you guys back right before this, this part finishes and then we'll get into the next one. Now, there might be some modules that don't uh, that aren't gonna indi indicate the proper VIN, but we'll see that after uh, I get through this area. Or we'll deal with that, I should say, later. I don't know why the autos focus so off. All right, erase uh, procedure in progress, please wait. Module reprogramming now. It's going through. Downloading all the data. It's pretty self-explanatory has been loaded and checked. So now what we're gonna do is take and check uh, for U codes. If required, uh, so this is um, the calibration that is updated. Now, the following modules have an incorrect VIN. So now we're gonna have to go into the, uh, the ABS and, um, and change the VIN into the ABS module. All right, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take this, we're gonna press the click we're going to go into uh, a PMI. We're going to go into the ABS. Set the ignition into the off position. Set the ignition. Press that. Calibration could not be transferred from the original module. This module will require a manual. That's okay. And this is where we have to put in the as-built data for the ABS module. So um, I'm gonna stop right here and I gotta go get all that data. So just give me one moment. All right, so basically I decided to go with the hotel because my computer's just really not enjoying anything right now. Um, right now I'm into the ABS module. I'm gonna reprogram the ABS module first. So we're just gonna finish this. It's just gonna ask me to check the VIN in the previous step. Is the VIN correct? Yes, so then we just click okay. Then it must be uh, first set into PCM, and we are good there. Configure could not be transferred to the original module. This module will be require manual entry of the configuration data. Save during vehicle assembly. Contact the configuration data sensor to obtain the information that needs to be filled on the next screens. So I need configuration data, which is my VIN right here. So that's what we're going to enter. Oh, what's my VIN? Uh... 4F2CY, let's try that, eh? And again, let's go like this. That is my VIN, press OK. The vehicle data is going to be, um, let's see, FFF, no, vehicle data was, let's see if I can get this right. Uh, Let's go vehicle data, 25 FF. And my screen is still broken in case anybody's wondering. So let's put in my vehicle data. 
25 ff ff f f f f 21 so i should have 4 6 8 f's 2 4 6 8 and that is it press okay the pcm1 now this is going to take a little bit of time to enter some data guys because right now what i have to do is i have to enter all this information right here in order to do this so um i'm going to enter all this and i will be right back i don't know if you guys see it but yeah so give me a minute all right i am on the last one right now so i'm at the ff14 so that's what we're going to do right now you guys can't even see anything and the glare is horrible sorry about that guys one four and press enter and then press ok the diagnostic the tester needs to update the program pcm please download the calibration file from the website copy select the files to the diagnostic tool folder and uh, okay so now it wants me to go through so I might actually have to go back and uh, do all this again, but we'll just go okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to unhook the DOTEL from it. Well, actually, we'll go do a parameter reset first onto the PCM, and we'll go and we'll update the ABS from there. Um, we're going to escape this. We're going to go diagnosis. We're going to go into the PAT system, instrument cluster. Let's see. Pam. Um, it's going to the instrument cluster. We'll see if it's in there. No, it's not even there. Where? Oh, where? I know I can do it. Let's go. Keys. Emo and keys. Patch system and death theft functions. We'll click on this. It's going to take me 10 minutes to get back into this. You guys didn't even see that. Turn the ignition, switch to the on position. Perfect. Um, at 12.23 volts. It's a little bit low, but that's okay. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll leave that. This will take 600 seconds. I'll be back. All right, guys, let's go in, do our parameter reset. I got access to the system now. And we have security access. All right, so now we have to do a parameter reset warning you will need two keys to start the vehicle if you have replaced the pats pants uh, we have not replaced anything with the pat system just remember that okay the pat system on this one is up in the cluster if i'm not mistaken uh so we are good there pcia image cluster yeah we are good so we will press yes to continue operation in progress and this operation has been successful we'll leave it finish we will press OK. Module reset is now complete. Uh, warning for a uh, parameter reset to be successful. Turn the ignition off, then on. And perform uh, other paths before cycling the key as it is uh, may lose security. So we'll turn it off. Turn it on. As it said, perfect. Now, after that, we're going to program an additional uh, key because I have one right here that the customer brought. So we're going to program an additional ignition key. Place the on program uh, ignition key into the ignition and turn the ignition to the on position. So we'll turn this off and put the new key in. Perfect. We shall take and go and press the OK button. Key program failed. Do you wish to program another key? Well, that's not good. Uh, DTC is detected. So that's okay. Um, so we're going to escape this. I'll turn the ignition key, switch to the off position. Press OK. Uh, so that is not working. I don't know if my battery is full or not. That might be why it's not working. So that one is starting now. So now we're going to have to go in and start the other one. There's codes in the system. Yeah. So we're going to have to go in and program a new one. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna get back into the patch system in one second. Uh, now we are gonna have to go back over to the computer real quick. Uh, and I should be able to do everything from there anyway. So let's go escape. We shall go escape again. We'll go diagnose real quick. We'll see what codes are up in the system. And we will, shall go from there. So give me one second. All right, guys, so we are into the patch system. Uh, I got the key. We're gonna go ahead, take the key. Ah, I think I was supposed to turn that in the off position. That was my fault. Let's try this. I just turned it to the on position. And the new key is in. Well, let's press this. See if it programs it. That operation has been successful, so that one is now programmed. So now there should be two keys in this system. And I do not want to program any other key. Yeah, you guys can't really see with all the glare. Sorry about that. And do you wish to return to the pants functions menu? Ah, uh, no, because I am done. So that is it. So now we're going to take and cycle the key to the off position. Take the key out. Right here, we're going to put it back in the ignition. Turn the key on. And starts the car with that key. Perfect. Let's take the... Make sure the original key works. Perfect. All right, so let's make sure the door locks work. Door locks work with the new key. And that is it. So that was a little bit of a lengthy process, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.